Hi. I wanted to talk to you today about self-leadership. Now, I came across an article written by um, Shelley Zalis, and I'll put a link in the comments. So it's her article, but it just got my mind thinking as well, because it's a great read. And she's talking to a lady called Robin Ward, who's the CEO of Founder Forward. And they're talking about self-leadership. And I thought it's so true. That's, that's what leaders really need to focus on is self to be the best that they can. So Shelley's talking to Robin about self-care. As a leader, you have to show up as the best you can. So you need to look after yourself. You need to be of um, healthy mind and body. So really take good care of yourself so you can show up as the best uh, you can be. And uh, as the cliche, not the cliche, the saying goes, people don't leave jobs, they leave bosses. So, you know, if you're not operating as a good leader, then people will lead. Um, Self-awareness is so important. Being aware of your strengths, your weaknesses, because unless you're aware, you can't do anything about it. You can't manage what you don't know. So be self-aware of your behaviours, your emotions. It's all about emotional intelligence. Self-improvement is so important. Leaders have to have, or good leaders, have a growth mindset. You know, I was talking to um, a client this morning and we were discussing that, you know, the future of work and it's not going to be based on the degree you got at uni or uh, any the certifications you got. It's about your, be about your demonstration to keep, keep learning, keep developing and keep growing and investing in that T structure of, of your skills, experience and capabilities. So every leader has to have a growth mindset, finding out the next thing, finding out the next thing. And um, self-management, being able to manage yourself um, being able to prioritise and focus on the things that are important. It's very easy to get distracted when things are changing fast around us, but a leader has to be able to focus on what's really important and, and not get dis distracted constantly. They have to have high emotional um, in intelligences again. And probably the most important is self-reflection. I am going to read this. Um, so according to Harvard Business Review, people who spent 15 minutes at the end of the day reflecting about the lessons learned performed 23% better after 10 days than those who did not reflect. And it doesn't take up time. Most of us commute to work um, or drive to work or walk to work and do the same at the end of the day. So why not use 10 or 15 minutes of that time just to reflect on what did you learn today and what can you do better tomorrow? Talk to you soon. Bye.